Have you ever wondered why everything feels like it's falling apart? Have you ever longed for something more? I have, and I tried so long to run from this feeling, but I never was able to. Due to the pandemic that the world is currently in, I felt that I needed to use this time to refocus about a bit on truly what matters. Some of you may have been following my recent post on Facebook, and I want to thank you. More on that later. Currently, I've been working, but now things have taken a turn, and the boss calls it laid off. But I am also applying for other jobs. So please be in prayer for that. Um, but during this time, I've been reading and spending more time in the Word. And one verse that has been brought up to me recently has really been really hit me hard. That's Second Corinthians verses one, well, chapter one, verse nine. That's Second Corinthians chapter one, verse nine. It reads, "In fact, we expected to die, but as a result, we stopped relying on ourselves and learned to rely." Only on God who raises us from the dead. That's the NLT version. Many times in life we face situations that are hard to handle by ourselves. We struggle to see where to turn. God offers comfort when we lack comfort. Let me repeat that. God offers comfort when we lack comfort comfort. Uh, we become people who rely more on the world and less on God until we let him change us. We need to let him change us. You see, times like this in the world, we can see that it will bring out the good and the bad in people. But currently, so many of us have free time because we're not working. And it's not always easy through this time to realize that God is still there. God loves you. You see, it's not always easy to see the Lord through the situations. But in the book of Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians. We see that God, our God, is a merciful, loving Father. And is the source of all comfort. Without Him, we lack something that we desperately need. In our times of troubles... We have a loving, caring Father that offers us comfort. We just have to trust Him. Personally, for me, I struggle with trusting others. Based on other situations in my life. But I found that when I truly trust the Lord, and I open my heart to Him, I become a better person to be around, a more positive person to be around, and, and just like a comforter on your bed, Christ is my comforter. 
I'm able to relax when I'm with him. Every single day. I put him at the center of my life and not just on the outskirts. Without him, I struggle. I freak out. I try to hide from my problems, but I just can't. I know that I have a loving God, a loving Father, who He's there. He's willing to just say, I gave you my son. What else do you expect? What else do you want? I gave you my son. That's love. It takes love to truly just say, here I am. But I, I take a moment in my life and, and realize I try to hide from, from Christ. I try to hide from situations. But looking back on these things, on these situations, I realize that Christ has the best interest for me. As I wrap up, I, I want to take a moment. I just want to encourage everyone to just take a moment this week. Find a verse that really speaks to you. And I want to ask a couple questions. Why does this verse speak to you? How is God going to be using this verse through this week in my life? A better way to word that question is, how am I applying this verse to my life that God has given me? Maybe you need to find a verse about hope, faith, Maybe just everyday living. Sometimes I just want to curl up in a ball. I feel hopeless. I feel lost. I feel unloved. If it wasn't for a group of brothers in Christ, I wouldn't be doing these videos. This is way out of my comfort zone. I truthfully do not like to sit in front of the camera. I'd rather be behind the camera. But I wanna really take a moment and if this is what changes your life, reach out to me. I would love to talk with you about taking the next step in your life. In a few weeks, I'm, I'll be talking about what discipleship means to me. Why is discipleship so important to me? Do you have spiritual sharers in your life? Are there people in your life that when you're around them, they bring Christ out in you? Take a moment. And if you have gotten to this point in this video, Share with me why discipleship is important to you. I may include some responses here in a few weeks on my, on my uh, video. 
But please, share with me scripture. Share with me why your discipleship partners mean so much to you. Furthermore, I want to ask for, for prayer. I want to make sure that what I post is Christ-centered and will not lead others astray. If you feel that something is not Christ-centered, please reach out to me. I'm a human. And I make mistakes. But I understand that I have a loving, forgiving God. He loves you, too. Thank you for joining me.